Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how to run Counter-Strike Source natively on Mac OS. So, right now I have my terminal on the very left and Notion on the right with a guide that I made for this. The guide will be found in the description. The first thing I'm going to do is copy and paste the first command. You don't need to do this if you've followed my tutorials before, but if this is your first time, Copy and paste the first command, put in your password. This is going to install Homebrew. And once you put in your password, hit return, it'll start installing. Now that Homebrew is installed, you're going to do either step two or step three. I'm on an Intel Mac right now, I'm not on my normal Mac. So I'm going to do step two. I'm going to take this command, swap out the phrase your username. For my username on, the, on this computer which is jhx so I'm just going to swap that out there and I'm going to enter it and that will set the proper path for homebrew now I'm going to install the Xcode command line tools now I'm getting an error because I already have them installed but you guys should get a pop-up looking like this so just install that it'll take about 20 minutes now we're going to get the packages that we need from Homebrew. Just paste this fifth command in, and it should download all these packages. Now we're going to get the source engine GitHub repository. I already have it cloned, so I'm just going to CD into it. The enter. There we go. Now I'm in the source engine repository. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. We need to configure the build. So I'm going to paste this command in, and what this does is it sets the build to C strike for counter strike. And it says configure finish successfully, 4 seconds. It should be similar for you guys. Now I'm going to build the game, Just copy that, paste that in for step 8. And now this will probably take a while for you guys, maybe 20, 30 minutes, but I've already built it, so it only takes five seconds and it just checks that I have all the build files. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the ninth command. We just built all these files, and now I'm gonna take this and put them in a directory of my choice, and you can change this directory to whatever one you want. Now that I have the files in my directory, I'm gonna open up Steam, and start installing Counter-Strike Source. Alright then, so now that Counter-Strike Source is installed, I'm going to go to my Settings, Manage, and I'm going to go Browse Local Files. Opens up a Finder window, I'm going to pin this to the left side of my screen. I'm going to open up another Finder window, and I'm going to put this on the right side. And I'm going to open up the directory where we built the files earlier. So now you should have two windows here. Now this part's a little tricky. First, we're going to take the platform folder from our Steam installation and drag it in. We're going to do the same with hl2.sh. Then we're going to rename our hl2 launcher to hl2 osx. Then we're going to open up C Strike in both folders. We're going to copy everything in the Steam folder except for bin, and we're going to drag it in to the C Strike folder that we made. Okay, now we're going to go out of that. And we're going to take the HL2 folder from Steam and drag it into our folder. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Half-Life 2 installation. For you, this can be Portal or Half-Life Source or really anything else. And you need to take that HL2 folder and open it up. Now, open up your own HL2 folder in the directory that we made. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy everything from the Half-Life HL2 folder and paste it in to our own HL2 folder. I'll just hit replace there and now everything is copying in. Done. Now that that's done, we can delete everything in the Steam folder, take our stuff, copy and paste it in. So that way it'll launch in Steam. Now that that's all copied in, we can go into Steam, click play on Counter-Strike Source, and it will open up. There we go. Now, it's kind of low resolution right now, so I'm going to go to Options, Video, I'm going to change my aspect ratio and the resolution to what's native on my MacBook. I'll just hit Apply now, and there we go. Now I have Counter-Strike Source in HD. So my computer is very slow with my recording software open, so I'm going to close that and just record some gameplay on my phone. So here we are, we have Counter-Strike open, I'm going to go to Find Servers, click on a server, connect. There we go, we are in, choose Terrorists, and right now I'm just spectating, and as you can see it's running well, it's pretty smooth, if you look at the FPS here, and my camera will focus, there you go, about 120, so pretty pretty good FPS too, given this is on a 2015 MacBook, and now I'm in game, it's very very hard to play with just one hand, alright I'll go this way, and yeah as you can see, a few, a few stutters there, rubber banding I guess, but it, it runs pretty well. It's totally native, there's no crossover or anything. And that's all there is to it. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.